All right, the last Shining Fates product I will open for the immediate future. I believe I have covered everything, but we have our final tin here with Cramorant V on it. Code card, one promo card, and of course the six Shining Fates booster packs. Let's see if I can easily crack into this with my handy dandy knife. I do have uh, more Shining Fates available to open up should I want to in the future, but I always enjoy keeping a number of products and packs sealed as well. 86 Cramorant V, and then the code card. It's always, always nice to have packs open up for a rainy day if you ever want to. I know it takes a a lot of self-discipline in order to that. We have a three Charizard artworks. Let's, uh, you know, let's do all the Charizards first. Because what do they say? You don't pull Charizard from the Charizard pack art. So if Charizard is in this tin, I got a feeling it would be in the last three cards that we will open up. Four from the back, these uh, these cards have zero whitening on the back, it looks like, so thankfully these are in good condition. It can be pretty hit and miss with Shining Fates. We got a Rotom, Weasel, Coughing, Shinx, Trapinch, Rowlet, Cacnea Reverse Hollow, no shiny to start off, but an Indeedee, Hollow Rare. Okay, next Charizard pack. I'm going to save that code card for myself. I'll give the other four remaining ones away. Energy, Gym Trainer, Thwacky, Cramorant, Snom, Cufant, Grookey, Buizel, Yanma, Rotom Reverse Hollow, and an Indeedee V. So we did actually get an Ultra Rare. I will take that. Hopefully we can at least get some type of shiny. Four from the back, and our energy is a Lightning. GM Trainer, Team Yell Towel Trainer Card, Luxio, Cufant, Spinarak, Snom, Horsey. I think we got something good in the back. I took a little peek, Rowlet. Oh, a Santa Scorch is a shiny card for us. That's not what I saw, but it is a good card. And a Ditto V. So we got the double pulls though there. Santa Scorch, shiny, and a Ditto V. We have pulled the uh, full art Shining Ditto from the set. That is, that might be the best card I have pulled so far from Shining Fates. Either that or uh, the gold card. I forgot. Oh, Eternatus V. That was it. The gold card there. We got Ball Guy Trainer card. Everyone's favorite. Rusted Shield. Team Yell Towel. Horsey. Snom. More Peko running away. Cacnea. Choodle. Rillaboom is a nice rare reverse holo and a Celebi. Non hollow rare. Alright, Taxtricity. <clears throat> now I'm going to say Darkness Energy for this pack. It is a fire. All right, that's a sign for the Charizard. Rusted Shield, Eldegoss, Dartrix, Choodle, Morpeko, Coughing, Glossifleur, Rowlet, Coughing Reverse Hollow, and a Volcanion. non hollow rare. All right, last pack of Shining Fates here. Dragapult on it. All the cards are on the top, which makes it a little more annoying to open. It's all right. 
Not sure how much more Shining Fates I will open up in the future. So let's let's soak this in. Here's the code card. Hopefully someone gets something good. Four cards from the back. Psychic type energy. And we begin. Float Soul. Rusted Sword. Dartrix. Glossifleur. Cacnea. Chudle. Eevee floating down the lake. Nicket. A rare Volcanion Reverse Hollow, so no shiny. But our last card in the pack is a boss's orders not hollow which is thankfully a very good trainer card so thanks for watching everyone get the tin empty tin back up here boltud v that's the end of shining fates that'll open up for the moment but stay tuned we have tons of chilling rain packs coming up in the next month or two as we wait for evolving skies to come out later this august Thanks for watching, guys, and happy 25th anniversary once again to Pokemon.